Wow. That is so good. Hi guys, my name is Janine and welcome to another video. I know I'm in a little bit of a different scene if you are familiar with my channel, but if you're not familiar with my channel, I'm hoping that the algorithm brought you here because perhaps you have some struggles with menopause, maybe perimenopause, maybe menopause, maybe you have some hormonal weight gain to lose, you've come to the right channel. My name is Janine, I'm a certified nutrition and fitness coach. I'm also certified in menopause. I myself am 48 years old, postmenopausal woman, that's the accurate thing to say. And on this channel, I like to provide lots of information on living your healthiest, happiest life, looking and feeling your best, thriving in midlife and through menopause. So hopefully the algorithm sent you here for a reason. And thank you so much for tuning in. If you are not new here, then you know what it is. I'm in a little bit of a different scene. I'm usually in my kitchen for these Thursday videos, but in today's video, we are gonna end up in my kitchen, but I wanted to start out this video here on the set of my podcast. My husband and I also have a podcast called Candidly with Coffee that resides on this channel as well, where we talk about a lot of the challenging things around midlife, around nutrition, fitness, and again, just living a happy, healthy life. So check out our podcast on this channel or everywhere you get your podcasts, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. So if you have a weight loss goal, hormonal um, weight gain perhaps that you need to lose and you have not been successful thus far, even maybe on macros or on you know a program, you're still not successful. It's probably because you're not building the proper meal that's gonna help you control hunger, help you balance hormones, help you feel good, satisfied. And again, it has to be delicious in order for you to stay consistent. So I want to talk about some of the questions that I am going to challenge all of you to ask yourselves when you are building a meal, because you need to ask yourself these questions. The answer should be yes. If the answer is yes, then you are building a meal that's not only delicious, that you're going to love and enjoy, but it's going to support your goals. So Let's go ahead and get into some of those questions. All right, the very first thing that um, all of your meals should have is you want to ask yourself, are you prioritizing protein? Take a look at your meal. Where is your protein source? You know, ideally a lean protein, uh, ground turkey, chicken, lean ground beef, fish, shrimp. Um, all of those things are great sources of protein, but does your meal have one of those things? It should have one of those in it. You're gonna build your meal around your protein. Number two, does it have healthy fats? Do you either maybe have some full fat dairy? Do you have some avocado? Have you sprinkled on some olive oil? Maybe some nut butter, but you definitely want to make sure that you have healthy fats in your meal. Healthy fats are essential for hormone balance and they are going to help you with satiety, but you have to be really careful with fats because fats are calorie dense. So we can't be all willy nilly with the fats just because, oh, these are healthy fats. You still have to be mindful of portions because calories matter. At the end of the day, if you are trying to lose hormonal weight gain, you gotta keep your calories in check. So you, you need to say yes to healthy fats in your meal, but you know, be mindful of that portion. Next up, does your meal have fiber? Huge, huge. If you are in menopause, you need to make sure that you are getting in enough fiber, 25 to 35 grams per day. So depending on how many meals you plan on having, this meal needs to have enough to help you satisfy that goal. So if you have two meals a day and your goal is 30 grams of fiber per day, this meal has to have at least 15 grams of fiber. So where are you getting your fiber? You need to take a look at your meal and add in some fiber-rich foods, whole grains, uh, dark leafy greens, berries, quinoa, avocado is another great source of fiber. You need to make sure that you have fiber in this meal. So what is fiber gonna do for you? It's gonna feed your healthy bacteria in your gut gonna help you because digestion is an issue when we enter into menopause. Fiber is, is essential. It's also gonna help with your immune system. It's gonna help with your digestion. It's gonna help with satiety. It is going to help keep the, make it so that this meal is gonna keep you nice and full. 
So again, very important that you're getting in fiber. I find that probably of all of the things next to protein, not getting enough protein, this is the secondary. People struggle with getting enough fiber in their meals. A lot of my clients specifically, I take a look at their logs and I'm like, tisk tisk, we need to add some fiber. So ask yourself, where's the fiber? Next up is to balance your carbs, okay? Meaning your carbs shouldn't make up the majority of this meal. It should be made up primarily of protein with some healthy fats and also some carbohydrates. Now carbohydrates are not the enemy and when you pair them with a balanced meal, meaning there are protein and there are fats, it's gonna help balance out your blood sugar response. We, we want to try to reduce the blood sugar response to your meal. So by, by making sure that you have a nice balanced meal, you can safely add carbs into this meal and you're still gonna have a nice healthy meal that's gonna have balanced blood sugar. It's going to help you with satiety, decrease cravings. If you have too many carbs or your carbs overpower the rest of the items in your meal, then chances are you're gonna have a spike in your blood sugar. What's that gonna do? Well, it is going to leave you with cravings. It's gonna leave you hungrier. Suddenly this meal is not gonna be as satisfying. And even after the meal, you're going to deal with like a crash and then you're gonna get hungry shortly thereafter. So it's really important to not only make sure that your carbs don't make up a huge portion of your plate, but also, you know, if you can, opt for some slow digesting carbs to help, you know, increase the satiety, balance out the blood sugar even more. So I, potatoes are a really great low calorie, macro friendly addition to a meal. Also quinoa, oats, if it's breakfast, whole grains. So if you're gonna opt for some carbohydrates, opt for, opt for whole grain sources, which are also gonna be a great source of fiber. So some of the things that you're adding could kill two birds with one stone. Speaking of which, you know, you also, if with some knowledge with, with menopause comes an increase in inflammation. So when our estrogen drops, um, we have more inflammation in our bodies and you can combat that by introducing some anti-inflammatory foods and seasonings and spices into your food as well. So don't be afraid to maybe season with some turmeric, um, dark leafy greens are very anti-inflammatory, berries are anti-inflammatory. So you can add in some um, additional ingredients that are anti-inflammatory as well. That's also going to help. That's gonna be just put together a nice, nourishing, delicious meal. Now I know that that sounds maybe like, is this a boring meal? Is this a meal that's bland and doesn't taste good that you're not excited about? No, not at all. I actually answer yes to most of these questions with the majority of my meals, but they're still delicious. They look indulgent. They're very satisfying and I get excited to eat them. So the meal that I'm about to make for you, I'm gonna be able to say yes to all of these, all of these things when I look down at this meal and it's delicious and it's so simple. So that's what I'm all about. Let's go ahead and get into the meal. Now that we got all that stuff out of the way, let's get into a simple, delicious meal and let's see if we can cover all our bases with this meal. So first of all, your girl's busy as usual, so I reached into the freezer and was looking for my protein source. And we're gonna go with these. Lightly breaded chicken breast chunks from Kirkland. I got these at Costco. 16 grams of protein, calories 160 for a serving. Here's a little protein hack to determine if this is a good source of protein in terms of you're getting enough protein for the amount of calories it is. You look at how much protein it has, which is 16 grams, add a zero to that, 160. Now look at calories. Are the calories equal to or less than 160? In this case, the calories are 160. So that would be, yes, this is, you're getting a good amount of protein for the amount of calories that this is. So that's my little hack. I use it on everything to determine if something truly is a good source of protein, like a good amount of protein. We're gonna use the Hero Tortillas. Love the Hero Tortillas, clean ingredients. They have protein in them, seven grams of protein, plus fiber. Um, they are made with olive oil, so they have fats in there. It's gonna be a, a little bit of healthy fats from there too. So this is a nice little, it's gonna cover the basis of some fiber, some healthy fats, and uh, they're delicious. So we're gonna do some Hero. 
Now, while, the ch while I'm making the chicken, I'm gonna go ahead and log this into my food app so I wanna see like where it's at. I use my own app. This is for my clients and uh, it's got a tracker in there with a barcode scanner. So usually while I'm cooking or make cooking, well, we use that word lightly around here, while my food is heating or whatever, I track my food. So let me go ahead and scan this stuff on into the app. I'm going to use some of this crazy feta. I'm actually gonna finish this off. I bought this last week and you guys have been, if, you're, if you've been watching my channel, you've been seeing me use this all week long. It's so good and you know, I, I have no issue with dairy. So I can eat dairy and you get a lot of micros from dairy. You get protein from dairy, you get micros. I am also gonna do a drizzle of hot honey. So let's go ahead and log that. And I'm gonna do some chips. I love these legendary chips, 150 calories, 20 grams of whey protein, and it's a big portion. This is gonna help me bump up that protein amount. All right, so this meal has 500 calories, 49 grams of protein, 49 carbs, 26 grams of fat. So do we have fats? Yes. Do we have a not an overpowering amount of carbs? Yes. Do we have adequate amount of protein? Yes, we do. Do we have fiber in this meal? Yes, we do. This meal has 17 grams of fiber. If I plan on having two meals about this size, then I would wanna have 15 to 20 grams of fiber in each meal, 17 grams of fiber does it. Do we have some anti-inflammatories in there? Yes, we do. So we've got some arugula. Um, we've got a nice little balance here. It's gonna be very satiating. It's very quick. Doesn't look like the typical like, oh my goodness, that looks so healthy. It looks kind of indulgent, kind of like, okay, a little processed food, but that's okay. You can still meet the criteria for what is going to be a meal that's going to keep you satiated, a meal that's going to help you balance your hormone and hormones, anti-inflammatory, um, high fiber, high protein without being overly critical and overly complicated and still delicious. So let's go ahead and assemble this and see how it comes out. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Wow. That is so good. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. I hope you try this because this is absolutely delicious. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next one.